Yo guys, how's it going? I came out right here. This is gonna be part one, the teardown of our 2018 Yamaha YZ125, which I will be doing a 2020 race bike build on. And uh, yeah, I'm actually really, really excited for this. I've been uh, working on this and planning this up for a long time, so I hope you guys enjoy the whole series. And uh, let's take a look at the bike.
there we go, the 125 is all torn down. If you've ever wondered what a dirt bike looks like on two tables, there it is, all the parts just laid out. Of course, we have some of the bigger parts down there, but uh, yeah, guys, there's a dirt bike right there, plus the frame and then the engine up there and the suspension. But uh, yeah, guys, so let's do a quick recap on the condition of everything. Uh, here's the engine, the motor, uh, the heart of the bike. Uh, actually, pretty good condition, uh, a little crusty here and there, uh, could definitely use some cleanup and some love. Uh, we're going to be doing a top end, and uh, yeah, as you can see, that gasket was actually wicking a little bit. So uh, yeah, we're going to be doing a top end, throwing a Wiseco piston in the bike. Uh, also going to be going through and taking apart some stuff just to inspect things, because I did hear some weird noises during the last ride. I really am not sure what that was, but uh, we're going to be going through and inspecting everything and make sure everything's in spec and good to go. Alright guys, and here's the shock. Uh, overall, it's in really good condition, not leaking or anything. But uh, we are going to be uh, respringing it with a stiffer spring and servicing it and uh, regreasing the lower and upper shock bearings, making that all good to go. Here we have our forks, which of course, as I stated earlier, have the leaky seals. And this suspension does have 100 hours, so I'm not going to be ragging on it too bad. Uh, for having leaky seals and whatnot, because uh, yeah guys, 100 hours with no service, just bleeding the air out. It's actually pretty surprising that it went this long uh, on these OEM seals and everything, so uh, we're definitely gonna be going through and servicing all of that. That is way past due. And uh, yeah guys, here's the frame. It's uh, definitely in need of some love here. As you can see, pretty crusty frame. Have some serious cleaning to do all the way throughout the frame and then the sides of the frame are pretty dirty too so uh, have a lot of work to do on that over here we have all the little parts and pieces of the bike all laid out on two tables so if you've ever wondered what a dirt bike looks like on two tables there it is one two boom a lot of dirt bike parts of course you have some of the bigger parts underneath them but uh yeah guys so this is all the parts that just came out of the bike uh, in need of some serious cleaning and some things do need to be replaced. Then of course we have our air box, swing arm, our wheels, and then our subframe. And uh, pretty much <laughs> pretty much everything here needs a serious, serious cleaning one way or another. Whether it's just a scrub down in the parts washer over here. Or it's just completely going through and refinishing the metal. Uh, like this. this. This is one of the prime examples of... Uh, a part in need of some major love. You can see oil over here, dirt over here, and the metal is overall just stained. So we're gonna need to go through and freshen a lot of these parts up, replace some of them, and uh, yeah, guys, that's the bike all torn down. The engine sitting up here. I love the look of the engine just sitting here on the workbench. I don't know, it just looks like so much, just can't resist tearing into this thing and just going through the whole engine, making sure it's all good. I don't know, maybe it's just me. And uh, yeah guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Uh, I had a lot of fun tearing the bike down. It was actually pretty easy. Uh, it wasn't that challenging for me to tear the bike down. So I had a lot of fun with it. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Definitely do make sure you guys go down and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future build videos for this bike. And uh, with that, that's pretty much it. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.